Detectives investigating the murder of a 73-year-old man in Devon are exploring a possible link between the random attack and a suspected suicide. The 73-year-old, who has been named locally as Peter Freeman, was stabbed to death on his doorstep in what police thought was a random attack yesterday. But they have since discovered a second body in a car close to the scene of the murder in Sheldon, Devon. Detective Superintendent Mike West, head of Major Crime and Serious and Organized Crime said, We have launched a major investigation following last night's murder. This death is not currently being treated as suspicious and we are responding to the incident as a suspected suicide. The police are currently investigating the link between this and the incident in Chocolate Road, Kingstonton. At this time we are appealing for witnesses and we would like to hear from anyone who is in the vicinity of Chocolate Road between midday and midnight on Sunday, June 9. They are also interested in hearing from anyone who saw a blue Shkoda Fabia in the area between midday yesterday and 11 a.m. today. Superintendent for South Devon, Jeremy Capey added, Understandably, this incident will cause much concern and upset amongst our local community. Our thoughts go out to the victim's family during this time and we will continue to support them, providing as much assistance as we can. A number of police officers and specialist resources will remain visible at the scene and around the wider Kingstonton area as officers continue to investigate this heinous crime. He added, There's every indication at the moment in the evidence that's been collated to date to say that it's a random attack. Neighbors have spoken of their shock after the elderly man was stabbed more than ten times to death outside his home on Sunday night. Residents in the area were told by police at the time to keep their windows and doors locked, and some say it has left them feeling frightened. Wendy Roberts said, My house backs onto the house where the incident took place as it was right at the back of our garden. You never expect anything like that around here. It's very quiet at that time of night as everyone is in watching TV. We didn't like to look because at first because we thought it was someone who was ill, then we saw the police van. I do know some of the people who live down there but not at the house. Where police were coming and going. We could see the helicopter which we would see from the bedroom window they were circling as far as Bovey Tracy. It's strange no one saw anything, no one knows anything. Last night there were lots of people out in their dressing gowns and a young lad was really distressed. They were all my daughters. H. Martin Alford said he heard a woman outside screaming after the incident took place. It's all a bit close to home. You don't expect it to happen in Kingstonton. It's less than 200 yards away from our house. Gets up, Mike West said, there is every indication at the moment, in the evidence collated to date, to say it is a random attack. It is important we approach the two deaths with an open mind, but because of the rarity of this sort of incident, it would make sense for us to make sure, due to proximity, that that we consider them in tandem as well as being isolated. That is part of our ongoing investigation at this time.